Um, I just want to thank the Lord today for another day. Um, you know, it's always a joy to be able to read the word, you know, because in other countries, some of some countries won't allow you to read the word. Some countries won't even allow you to pray and they'll just execute you right there. And you do have bold Christians in other countries that will, you know what I'm saying, give up their life and put their life on for the Holy Spirit, you know. And I believe that's going to happen pretty soon here in the United States. I think with everything going on with uh, cancel culture and the woke and everything that's going on in, in America right now, it's just, it just... It just seems like there's just hell and brimstone just, you know, it just seems like there's just like, you know, when the Lord was warning the disciples about how it was going to be in the last days, you know, the rumors and rumors of wars and nation against nation. That's what's going on now. And, you know, if 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 you're not ready and if you're not prepared for what is about to happen, then you should be ready. You should have been ready a long time ago, because if you were been like I said, there's a lot a lot of us been in church a long time, even myself should expect what's going on right now because it's just, you know, things are falling apart, you know. I mean, it's we're the way we're heading at is crazy, you know, these triple digits, you know, all the crap going on in America, all around the world. It's just, you know, it's it, it's just it's those scary times. There was just a, an earthquake the other day in California and it was I guess it was felt from all the way to Nevada. I didn't even know about it. I didn't even feel it. I didn't even think about it. It just is going on. And, and they've been saying the big one is coming. But I'm not sitting there saying that to to put fear in you. I'm telling you out of love that, you know what, even myself, hey, it's time to get ready. You know, it's time to get your, your house in order. It's time to get your mind in order. It's time to get your mind focused on the word of God, you know. If you read Psalms 1, it talks about that. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, but and, and on his law he meditates day and night. I'm telling you, that law is Jesus Christ. That meditating, it's the word of God. It's the word that is sharper than a two-edged sword. It's the word that's going to get you through the next day and get you through what's about to happen. You know, the word says right here, uh, I had, um, I apologize. It's verse, uh, second Timothy, the fourth chapter, the second verse, it says, preach the word and be ready in season and out of season. Re reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teachings. I'm telling you, you know what? You never know when, if you're at an outreach or you're part of a street ministry, you never know when that pastor or that preacher is going to call you up and, and tell you to test, to give testimony to preach with the word of God, preach with that fire, preach with the preaching, knowing that you have the whole armor of God, knowing that you're ready. It's, it's being ready. It's, you know, even, even like you could be at a grocery store, you could be on your job and there might be somebody asking questions about God and they know you're a Christian. It, it means be ready, you know, be ready to have an answer. Be ready to have a scripture. You know, if God tells you to pray for somebody, pray for them. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's sick in their body or they're hurting, then pray for them. Because he says he's giving you power. Power to stop on scorpions, serpents. He said in Mark 16, he says, when you lay hands on this sick, they shall be healed. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. I believe that there's power in the Holy Ghost. I, like I said the other day in my video, life and death is in the power of the tongue. I believe in the miracles. I believe that Jesus is still laying hands on people that are in wheelchairs. I believe that blind people can, can still be healed from that blindness. I believe that a burned victim can still be healed from that. You feel me? So that's basically what I'm just saying is be ready in season and out of season.